today is going to be Evil Knievel on the motorcycle. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. My name is Wayne, and this is Wayne Co. Now, like I was saying, today's going to be Evil Knievel on the motorcycle, which was a Harley Sportster, by the way. It, it was always a Harley, Harley Sportster that I, I imagine was highly modified in the Harley Sportster world. But he stuck to that bike his entire career. Now, Evil Knievel had a lot more fails than he did successes. As a matter of fact, I think in one of the interviews I heard him speak on, he said that he broke every bone in his body twice. So, I mean, if, if that tells you anything about like the whole Evil Knievel and, and what was going on, but he had the ability to pull massive crowds. Now, whether it was because they thought he wasn't going to make it that day or whatever the reason it is that they showed up, he still had the ability to draw huge crowds and he did huge stunts with this Harley Sportster. Unlike you've seen in today's modern, well, there's a few people out there right now I think that you have seen in today's modern like realm when it comes to, to tricks but they're not necessarily on motorcycles right they're on bicycles they're on skateboards they're on all kinds of stuff but but in my mind everybody as a child knew who evil Knievel was that everyone believed that they had a little evil Knievel in them right I mean and he did some really incredible stuff in the course of his career now I want to say that his son like followed in his footsteps I think that he like really like didn't want his son to follow in his footsteps I don't think that his son had nearly the success that he did but I know that I I don't actually actually know I think that he attempted maybe he didn't but it, I'm trying to like recall my memory now and like the older interviews they had with Evil Knievel and I think that his son did a little so I don't I don't really remember just just squash that whole part so he's gonna be number 101 out of the group they just have evil on the back and it, it just says one this is a really awesome box and this is what I'm gonna say because of this type of box that it is it is going to be damaged you're going to have an extremely hard time finding one of these boxes that aren't damaged because of the cardboard they made it out of because all of the windows they put into it but I truly appreciate all the extra windows right because then it gives me the ability to leave it in the box and not worry about displaying it they put a really cool crowd right behind him so that it looks like he is jumping for the crowd I have to get this guy out of the box though I see this really huge acrylic stand they have hooked to him so I'm really hoping that this stand is a permanent stand right I'm, I'm hoping that when I get this guy out of the box that the stand doesn't come off it stays in place that way you never have to worry about losing the stand in the event that you did have him add as an out of the box collection and it is not permanently attached Funko why did you not like permanently attach this stand to him why do you want me to lose this stand so badly are you gonna like do you offer this stand on your site for sale if I lose this stand if I lose this stand does he know all oh, the stand is broke all oh, that makes it even worse so look at that so they did glue the stand in there it just broke somewhere in the shipping process oh that is horrible guys why did y'all do that come on so now I don't think there's any way for me to fix this because it's just broke oh that is garbage he's definitely not gonna sit without the stand there's no way of like putting him on the stand because the stand broke hmm disappointed disappointed maybe I can glue it back together let's take a closer look at this guy so as you could see the stand has broke right there inside of him so the stand is just not going to sit on there right unless I can figure out the way that I'm going to glue it on but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the review without even looking at that stand now the detail work that they managed to pack into him right off the jump you can tell is insane I don't know if you can see that there's a K there on his cuffs he has a, a pinky ring on right there I don't necessarily remember like how flamboyant Evil Knievel was because Evil Knievel would have been just, just a little bit before I was born but you know it, because of that when you're growing up and you get to see the older videos of this guy that's making these crazy jumps and it, it kind of inspired you to be a little bit more of a reckless kid than you probably would have been. I love how they put the Evil Knievel on this. Now this is going to be one of those uh, model stencils that I talk about a lot. They soaked it in water and then stuck it on there. The paint job that they managed to like get on him and I mean this is also another stencil or this might have actually 
absolutely no that's a stencil so that's another one of those model stencils and here's the crazy part is i say that all the time and i'm i'm kind of questioning in it from time to time if that's reality but i can see the seam in it right there so i know that that is the reality and what they are doing they soak these guys in water right and after they soak in water for a while you i used to take two picks you take your two picks and you stick them on there it really works well but now that i see the seams i know exactly what's going on i know that that's exactly what is going on the paint job on him for the most part is pretty good i don't see any real paint spillover to talk about other than the fact that my stand come in broke and this handle came in broke do you see that i mean so come on man the, the quality control that went out with this guy was really bad i mean that that should have been caught that should have never like left oh you know that did not happen in the box that happened at their facility because i mean the box would have had to have been all but crushed in order for that to happen look I just can't believe like the quality control issues that Funko seems to be having. And the disappointing thing is that their quality control doesn't seem to be getting any better. There was a slight moment in time there when their quality control seemed to have not necessarily gotten better, but it wasn't getting any worse, right? I mean, it hit a plateau where you expected the paint spillover. You expected some some imperfections here and there. You started to expect these things, but now, now the expectations are starting to get worse, right? So now I've got to expect that my stand's going to be broke. I got to expect that my handlebars are going to be off. And that seems to be happening more and more and more and more. And look, I could write Funko all the disappointing letters that I, I possibly can. They're not, they're not listening to me. They're not listening to you the only thing they are listening to at this point is the almighty dollar now i guess i could send this guy back and pray that uh, send him back i could take him back because i actually picked this guy up from from think geek as you've seen earlier in the video i could i could take him back i could complain to them complaining to them would do no good so i'm just going to keep this guy in my collection i'll put him back in the box and then i'll remember how i got burnt on him next time i go to a store to buy one i mean i might physically start taking these guys out of the box when they're in sets like this so that i can see them a little bit better now i know the stores are not going to appreciate that at all but i don't appreciate getting home and my pop is in this kind of condition so I'm going to have to think of something in a way to fix this, and the only way that I can think to fix this is to take them out of the box in the store, that way that I get a, a really good like view of what he looks like before I ever get him home, so that I don't have a broken stand, so I don't have any of this, but that's okay, I'm not going to let this affect the rest of my day, I'm going to get this guy back in the box, I'm going to take pictures of him, I'll get him on Instagram, but this is what I'm going to say guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. Crew. There is no Wayne Co. Crew without you, and I truly appreciate you watching. Until next time, have a good one.